succeed and make it and I just I just love the show it was funny um I love the colors of it I love you know Aretha Franklin's theme song um yeah the vocals um yeah I love that show so I think coming into I had this like god I'm so I had this I was so naive but I came into college, especially watching a different world. I was like, mm-hmm, I'm gonna find my husband. Mm-hmm. Like, for real, I'm gonna find my husband. Um, I'm gonna meet, like, the love of my life in college. Or at least I'm gonna be dating. I was like, finally, because all these dudes in high school suck. But yeah, I came into college. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna go find my man, you know, whatever. I'm about to be good up. But um, that didn't happen. Whoa. Um, but Whoa. I'm not better. Five dollars. I'm a member. Are you, though? Hey, Excuse me? chill. You good, Hadia. But the rest wow. of y'all, cough it up. <laughs> Give me a cash app, you fam. Give me a cash app. You join? No, I'm not. What's up, Amaya? Is that you? Something like that. coming to BSU's Black Love Night. Tonight's theme is My First Love. So if you have something to say, some bars, a poem, a song, the mic is open. All right? Cool. Up next, we have Nora Obi with Second Love. Ooh. Hey, y'all. Uh, I've got a new one for you. I, I like to call it Second Love. So let me know what you think. Talk your shit, Nora. Shut your mouth? I remember how he undressed me with his eyes. He would take his time surveying every inch. His irises staked their claim on the nape of my neck, his hands on the small of my back, and every pupil dilation sucked the life out of me. He told me he loved my body, and he meant what he said. No matter how many times I corrected body to soul, he just wouldn't connect my body to soul, but I sold it to him anyway. And he dragged his souls across my garden heart till depressions marked its surface. He tried to plow me fertile, then he ditched me because he couldn't find his missing rib and woman who was only girl. Must have forgot that Eve couldn't even give Adam what he needed, and it added up to evil when she tried to satisfy his hunger. I could never be his Eden. My brown skin tastes like dust. Living dirt could never nourish a man or a boy. But in dust, he saw soil where he could plant himself and grow his whole world. So I carried that weight on my shoulders like Atlas till at last our gravity crushed me. See, the earth is heavy when you don't look to heaven. We were just too naive to lift up our heads. We were just 16 trying to figure out how unclean we could be without making mama mad. We were just unseen little kids trying to see if anybody would notice us. We were enamored, too armored and selfish enamel to topple the gods of our flesh when they screeched for us to set our bodies aflame in pagan sacrifice. And we called those third degree burns love just because the heat made us feel something. Mm. 
We didn't understand that love runs from abuse, rebukes resentment, eludes misuse, uncouth words and curses. I'd heard about love in poems and verses and it was nothing like this. It was that patient, kind love, that no conditions sticking with you love, that hold on to hope, baby, cause God is love. Love who knows all of me and wants me anyway. Love who's here to stay, love never left me alone. Even when bitter battered every thought of the broken boy who broke me. Love smothered my grudges. He washed the smudges from my dim lit glasses to reveal that he had healed me. Love restored my feeling and smoothed out my stitches. With or without my debtor's repentance, love intended forgiveness. Love beckoned me to kneel in submission until I fell, head over heels in love with the first love, Jesus, whose love ran red when my sin ran rampant, Jesus, who silent shame so we could hear him right next to us, he is whispered, I love you, and familiar breath. He is storm clouds melting off rainbows and sunrise settled on frosted glass. He is baby's first cry, rest from crowded mind, author of time who made time for me. He is leave your past behind and follow me. He is sea drops gathered on my feet to remind me where he guided me. And he knows the parts of me that I never let anyone see, still unwoven, unknit, and unkept. He knows the faith unraveled by rejection, and he mends those tattered pieces like no man ever could. He is unafraid to wait for me until I choose alone with him over lonely. He quenches my thirst, satisfies my desires, sets my eyes on fire when I look at him high above the earth, seated at the right hand of the Father. And if one day, when I'm looking up to heaven, a humble shoulder brushes against mine, eyes longing, lips singing with me unto our King. I'll open my heart to a second love, a second love who won't leave me second guessing, who will want God before he wants me, long before he wants my body who will first love me clothed in dad hats and crew necks and thrift store overalls, Adidas original shuffling along, who will first love me clothed in cotton and linen, embroidered with strength and printed tulips and dignity to beautify my body like a temple, like a veil to cover my fractured bones and oozing sores as God heals them in his own time. Whoever he is, whoever you are. Can you gaze into my eyes and prophesy before I teach you the history of these wounds? Can you gently and slowly peel back the blood-browned gauze twirled around my fingertips, then gently, slowly, lace your knuckles between mine? When we are musing across a too small coffee table, even though we both got class, when I tell you why my favorite song on the favorite playlist you've made me carves my laugh line so deep, will you believe me? Will you believe in me? Will you wait to love me naked? And when you finally see every spot and blemish, will you pray? that Jesus will finish what he already began in me and wash me totally clean. And even though you'll be in tune with all of my anatomy, will you beatbox to my heartbeat when you think of me because you know my rhythms, the pitter patter of my ordinary? Will you cock your high hat back so I can see the starlight in your eyes? Let me memorize the map of your face the low hum of your slow breath laden with silent prayers. 
Let me hear the gospel in your language, the anguish of the cross when we fall, the vanquishing of sin, the lavishing of grace when you love me and love me and I fail and you love me again. And we remember that what we love in each other is the fruit of the Holy Spirit, the reflection of the Son, the embrace of the Father. Second love, I'll love you second only to our Creator and far, far below Him. Beloved, be loved by Him. Let His real love sink in. Let's sink into His arms, carry crosses side by side and crucify sin. It's simple. I'll always love you but I'll first love him. Yo, she's crazy dope. Yo, you know where the bathroom's at? Bet. Amaya, you wanna go up there? Yeah, artsy. No, um... Come on, you should definitely go up there. Who is your first love? I think I'm still falling in love with myself. I think I love myself more now. Um, yeah, I think I appreciate myself more now. I'm like, you're awesome. I can't really tell you what specific thing but I know it happened in my 20s. And I've just reached a point. Right now, I like feel more than ever when I reach a point where I'm like, yeah, like I love myself enough to like give myself self-care, like take time away from certain things, do things that I want to do, like I'm interested in. I'm not going to like push myself anymore to, to, to like go out of my way from certain people anymore. I'm just going to set boundaries and actually like love myself. I feel like I've over the years I've just really loved people so much that I felt drained and so now I'm like redirecting that I'm like okay let's let me try to just give myself a taste of that love that I was spreading around and I'm just really now listening to myself and thinking like what do you want Frida like what makes you happy what like what do you enjoy doing let's, I'm not going to do something out of uh, sheer you know just, just doing to please other people I'm just really trying to think about who I am and who I want to be. I think that's where I am right now. And, and I love it. <laughs>